My father told me a lot of stories about his life during the fascist regime, but there was one story he told the most often. It happened during the war. My father was good at drawing and he made fake documents. His friend, my uncle, was good at fixing things, even guns. They were both 17 and they were members of the Italian resistance movement. Their partisan group was called Brigata Piva. It was near the end of the war when they sneaked out of their house in the countryside to take two fixed guns to the nearby town Voltri. Before leaving home, they wrote a brief message to their parents to tell them not to worry. They hid the guns under their clothes in their belts. They almost arrived at the town when suddenly a bunch of fascists stopped them on a dark pathway. The fascists searched them. The only thing my father and my uncle could do was to suck their belly in to hide the guns. It seemed to work. The soldiers might even have touched the guns, but they didn't do anything. They just let my father and my uncle go. At that time, if you were arrested by the fascists, you were taken to a student's dormitory used as a headquarters and prison, and you were likely to be killed after cruel torturing. They never found out how they were so lucky. Maybe the fascists thought that they were not alone or that they were some kind of bait. When my uncle died, we found that note he and my father left to their beloved ones. He kept that for us, and now we feel responsible to tell their story to the next generations. We went to Voltri, we will be back in a few hours. Renzo e Pippo